Maria Leos. This is a love bonus reading for Virgo season, uh, 23rd of August to September 22nd, 2019, with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. It is a thank you reading, since your reading uh, is the most liked for the August general reading. So thanks to all Leos and Leos loved ones that gave gratitude for my readings and dedicated themselves to love and spiritual growth. This will be a love reading for Leo Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. The reading can go both ways. The drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. So when I tell you that this is you, it can as well be the person or situation you're dealing with. Use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this reading. It will be different for every viewer. And for this reading, I will use the Golden Universal Tarot uh, with Roberto De Angelis and I will start shuffling your cards. So my dear Leo, see what's going on for you here. So when I open your deck, I see a page of cups uh, in reverse together with uh, the, <laughs> the Empress in the reverse. I'm laughing because it's um, kind of sweet uh, energy, but it's um, not going to lead to anything because um, it's a, it seems like there might be a person, maybe it's you, or maybe this is the other person, your suitor, um, that uh, is in love with you here, but uh, it's not able to show you that or tell you that. So it's uh, like a covert situation, like a covert person doesn't, they are shy or uh, might not want to, want you to know that you are loved. Uh, and with the Empress in the reverse, is probably that they think uh, you would be, uh, how can I explain this, that you would be uh, posh or puffed up or, you know, huh, I told you so, or that you would somehow uh, take the love for granted or um, it's something like that, that they think that if they t tell you uh, what they feel about you, um, it's like you will win. I don't know why this with winning is coming up for Leo all the time, but it's like they don't want you to win. Okay, so that's what I feel, to be frank. Okay, <laughs> so I call the divine uh, with love and light. And he, we have the four of wands with uh, the empress. So empress is, uh, can be Taurus, the little uh, page of cups can of course be a Pisces because they are holding a little fish in their bowl, but it can be Scorpio or Cancer or any person that uh, kind of have a spot in their heart for you or wants to give you some gift but refuses to. Uh, for once with the Empress, it seems like you're a very significant person in, in this person's life that um, they have bonds together with you and it's like um, you belong to them or you are their significant other. I can't explain this in a better way, but I'm not allowed to tell you, okay? <laughs> so I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world and we have a six of swords with the four of wands. So this is a person that have been unable to move on from the relationship with you. It doesn't matter how, how long ago it was that you uh, were together or you might... Uh, be in a family together it can be an actual child and a mother it doesn't have to be one person feeling intimidated by the other it can be that they're actually age difference uh, as well or generation differences uh, but it seems like you have been family once or you have been you are family or you have been in a relationship with this person at some point uh, or are in a relationship with the person but they are acting uh, juvenile and can't uh, seem to uh, apply themselves to the relationship fully. They might have been trying to to move on from you, but was unable to. Okay, so I call the six elements. And here we have death in the reverse and four of wands in the reverse. So it kind of says the same thing. Um, you have been trying to end the relationship or the situation, but it still kind of lives. It's... Uh, this is a little bit like beating a dead horse, but it's not really dead. It's just not manifested. We have 13 here, 1 plus 3, 4. So it's the 4. Um, so it's a relationship that maybe both parties think that this relationship should be dead. 
but it's not. Okay. So, six elements. Earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading. <laughs> There's someone stubborn here. Clear view reading for my dear Leo viewers. Uh, and someone knows that the other one is stubborn and all about kind of conflict and war and drama. Uh, so, they want to tell you so many things. Eight of Swords. So, I think this person is very keen on how they look on the outside towards other people. And that's what makes it hard for them to cooperate uh, with you. So, that can be a possibility as well. <laughs> so... Um, it's just done. I'm sorry I wasn't able to say the whole prayer, but the divine knows it by now. So uh, I will just tune in for a few seconds to uh, your reading, my dear Leos. I hope you love the set, by the way. Uh, it's a new cloth and, and the candle is actually made by my son. Uh, so I hope he doesn't <laughs> mind me using them. He's not at home, so I couldn't ask really. And before I forget, I can also uh, wish all the Virgos that's maybe cross-watching or have Virgos somewhere in Leos that have Virgos somewhere in their chart. Happy birthday because of the, re the reading is for the Virgo season. And also happy birthday to Leos that still have their birthday upcoming here in August. So there's 23 days where you can be a Leo. Also my birthday uh, is upcoming in a couple of weeks. And uh, maybe that's why I changed setting to celebrate myself a little bit. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm, now I'm going to tune in for a few seconds here. So, okay. Uh, so this will be a love reading. Uh, it's um, not the same reading that I always do. It's the same that I did for the bonus a reading for also for July. So this will be your behavior uh, or attitude towards this other person, the outcome and their behaviors or attitudes towards you. And it's there. And this is your feelings for them and common energies between you two and their feelings for you there. And this is what's on your conscious mind about them, the situation and what's on their conscious mind about you. So it will be two sides to this reading and I might also add that this is often the feminine side and this can be the masculine side. So if you are a male person, sometimes this is you or if you are mostly identifying yourself as a male. But most of my viewers, like I think it's 82% is female. <laughs> so I'm reading in this way. Uh, so what's on your conscious mind about them, the situation, and what's on their conscious mind about you? And we have eight of wands here. So mm, it seems like you feel a certain connection between each other, but there's some difficulties here with kind of admitting to that or communicating that. Uh, it's a hard time to, uh, to kind of surrender or give up or admit to things. But here with Eight of Wands, this would clarify, it would make things clear and everyone would know the truth. People would admit to what's really going on and, and speak up about things. It might also be that someone has, uh, you know, going behind your back here with someone else. And that is what's going to come forward. So we have the sun here. So for some of you, this will be what happens, that you will see some... Uh, some truth that might not be particularly nice, but it will give you a hint of what needs to be sacrificed in this situation. So, okay, there. And this is um, your feelings for them, common energies, and their feelings for you. And we have this little uh, page of cups that we saw in the beginning, but this is uh, what... What uh, maybe you're both are feeling for each other, but we saw this in the beginning, and it's it's most likely that uh, someone is feeling like this for you, but again, uh, they want to come out as um, um, they want to manipulate the information that's being given and come out a little bit as a player. But something has happened, and this didn't work out. Uh, maybe you dropped the ball on them. You said, "I don't want a player," <laughs> so and now they are standing there. Uh, with the flowers in the rain, okay, uh, so 
sweet um, flowers in the rain and that's some song I think it has come before but it's not particularly super usual song flower in the rain and that pencil wasn't a good one I try to write it down because in other case I will forget um, in the rain I see the cover of the um, the um, CD, <laughs> if you have CDs nowadays, uh, but I don't remember um, what her name is. It's a girl anyway that's singing this. Okay, and this is your behavior, attitude towards them, outcome and their behaviors and attitudes towards you. And we have a page of swords and the childhood card there in the reverse and the nine of wands in the reverse and a lot of other things. So it seems like there's childhood patterns uh, coming away from between you. So I don't think that there was really super much problems between you and this other person. It's um, the childhood patterns, how we have been wounded in the past and therefore we're trying to protect ourselves from being wounded again. And that makes us a little bit malicious in the situation or we might uh, be over judgmental or see danger where there is no danger and so on and so forth, which make, make us um, kind of... Um, uh, judge the other person in the wrong way and see things through our filters, through our projections. Uh, so we don't really see the other person. We see what we fear about the other person, what we think is going to happen because it always happened before and we don't want it to happen again. So we are trying to put an end to some abuse from the past. But um, when we are scared of something, we usually act towards these other people um, as um, they who scared us or hurt us acted towards us. So if we got hurt in a relationship before, we might act as a player to not get hurt again. And then we're hurting the other person and we never get a chance to really have a good relationship. So I'm seeing this uh, self-destructive behavior due to projections of past hurt and fears of this past hurt reappearing. Uh, so that's why people not being authentic in this situation with the page of source and the ace of source in the reverse. It's a lot of lies going around. So this is on what's on your conscious mind about them. And we have a four of swords, so it's kind of I don't care. Um, four of swords, you probably do care. Uh, care enough to try to not care, <laughs> okay? So with the four of swords, you're trying to digest something. Uh, we saw the six of swords and the death card, even though they were in the reversed. Uh, I think um, you have been trying to move on from a situation and digest the old and kind of, um, you know, lay to peace, lay to rest and, and be able to start a new adventure eventually. So it's like the four of swords comes after the three of swords. So it's healing from heartbreak, we can say. And uh, this is what's on your conscious mind about them. You are trying to heal from them, forget about them, not really walk away from them, but more accept the situation, accept the feelings as they come. Uh, you want to be over and done with it. You don't want to sweep it underneath the carpet and save it for another day. So it seems like you're really trying to do the internal work with um, uh, with. Um, Feeling your feelings, staying with them, staying with your body, uh, listening to your thoughts. All these things I have been nagging <laughs> on you about. Uh, you can see on the first channel page uh, of my, um, my channel, my actual channel page, you can see if you scroll down rather far, you will have the Q&A playlist and uh, dealing with pain with the green label. And, and this is the thing we do when we are dealing with pain is the four of swords. We kind of stay with it uh, and digest it uh, so it won't come after and haunt us. We can see it's a little bit like a sick bed or a death bed even. So it's like you're playing dead and trying to digest what has been. Much like what a person that have recently died do. They go through their life, might see their life passing by in a few seconds and, and seeing, okay, that was, I could have done this better um, here I should have st stood up for myself there I should have been more generous and so on and so forth so it seems like this is what you're doing digesting things 
uh, and this is um, um, no we will not look at that card just yet <laughs> sorry and this is what's on their conscious mind about you and we have a five of cups in the reverse so it's, it seems like this other person have been um, hurting too uh, the five of cups uh, it's a person being very disappointed about what just happened and how the situation was spilled out but with the five of cups in the reverse they are much in the same position as uh, you are they are trying to they're trying to move on maybe they are forgetting to digest might be a possibility but it it anyway it, it shows recovery that the person is trying to recover is trying to not feel so disappointed not to cry their eyes out anymore they try to um, they try to be gentle with themselves, try to be nice with themselves, try to, you know, do things that can pick them up on their feet and um, um, have a nice time, even if um, uh, something happened that that was a misfortune, that was a disappointment, but we're trying to move on from it. We're trying to maybe eat a little bit of ice cream and go out with friends and things like this to, to make us feel better uh, about this uh, situation. So it seems like there has been a while since uh, since uh, you had this conflict or whatever that led to the separation because both people are, are trying to t be gentle with themselves about it and not be anxious and stressed out and, you know, um, what could have been or be anxious about uh, how to get back into union. It's more like you're really, really trying to, you know, move on and... And, and become more healthy uh, with this <laughs> okay so maybe I need to oh, I'm not used to this setting so I try to find out what's the middle maybe that's the middle okay <laughs> so this is the situation itself and yeah when I talked about the three of swords and and here it is um, and it comes in the reverse so it shows yes it has been some time since this you know pain was like a fresh wound it's a wound that's about to heal and uh, we are about to feel better about uh, ourselves and our future and our possibilities and we are leaving the uh, horrific situation behind or the, uh, the situation that went sideways or went south or was spilled out like this. And here we have this uh, eight of wands. So um, this might have been... Uh, what caused this whole thing in the first place that some kind of truth came out uh, about uh, something um, and uh, it might be that a new truth uh, will come out but um, in the past there was some betrayal of some sort um, that led to this um, um, collapse of this relationship okay so this is your feelings for them uh, just about here in <laughs> in Virgo season and we have um, it's Taurus actually in the reversed and this knight of pentacles is the most slow of all the knights this is a like a watchful knight he doesn't rush into things as the other knights do he just sits and wait and observes and look and he's much like a farmer you know seeing the right time to uh, put his seed to the ground the right time to water his crops or uh, to harvest them eventually um, and when it's like this it's like you are put uh, this whole relationship here even though it must be your most significant relationship um, since it's coming up like this you are put it totally on ice it's like you're not putting an effort into it you're trying to not think about it you're trying to not uh, um, you're trying to not figure out what the future is all about you're tr not trying to figure out what the other person is doing you're not visiting their social media you're not uh, trying to engage yourself so you're really 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 trying to move on and um, you think that this is the best and that's the most logic thing to do in this situation because something happened uh, that was a big betrayal in the relationship and there's kind of no use to continue uh, in your opinion so there's no investment here uh, you really don't want to invest in this situation anymore it's uh, you have like withdrawn yourself from the situation and this is the common energies between you two and this is on their uh, feelings uh, feeling level like what they are feeling towards you 
and we have um, a ju the judgment day here. Uh, so it might be that with this five of cups in the reversed uh, and this judgment uh, together that they actually why they are starting to feel better is because they feel like they could do something about this situation that they could actually maybe revive it uh, in some way or try to make things happen between you two again when you take control over a situation usually you feel better about it you have taken control by kind of taking control of yourself having self-control i'm not going to apply myself in this situation this person has taken control in another way where they think maybe I can do something about this. Maybe I can make things better. Maybe I can be the bigger picture here. Bigger picture. Bigger, I can see they have seen the bigger picture and they want to be the bigger person. OK, but um, we saw in the beginning that they are really not OK with the little page of cups there. So um, mm, um, and I don't think I, I feel that there might be a shift that they have been these page of cups and not wanting to, you know, take action and take control and be the bigger person. They have maybe waited for you to do so, but from your end, it seems like nothing is happening there. You're just trying to really hard to move on and, and to um, find peace with what happened and, and uh, find peace with that the thing that you had was spilled out and it's not going to be able to be fixed. Uh, so self-control. And this is the uh, common energies between you two. And it's an ace of coins in the reverse. So it's like there was a chance. Uh, you had a chance of something beautiful. Ace of coins is like a windfall of good things. But um, what we saw with the uh, two of coins, there was someone was dropping the ball and... Um, uh, and didn't want to continue this. So maybe you were victim of betrayal because you have the four of swords that comes from the three of swords. Uh, and now you don't want to invest anymore. So you think to hell with this. It wasn't a good foundation because the person didn't really care about me. Because if they did, they wouldn't have betrayed me like that. Uh, and then you drop the ball on this situation. But I think this person still uh, still are interested to to kind of fix this situation. To come with some kind of offer but it's a very small one here's the big one but there's a small one and maybe they would do a fetal attempt like um, just call you and hang up or something else that's fetal um, and um, that won't lead to anything okay it will just annoy you <laughs> because you're trying to move on and trying to forget so please don't just come and annoy me like this you would say Yes, okay, this is your behavior and attitudes or attitudes towards them. And we have a page of wands in the reverse. So page of wands in the reverse, uh, you probably long for this person still, but you're not going to show them, you're not going to tell them, you're not going to spark yourself into another circle uh, with following that emotion. So even if you have um, like the direction of energy inside of you is always going towards them. Like you're starting to think about them, you're starting to uh, reminisce or you're starting to um, like, I want to call, I want to tell this, I want to share this and then you stop yourself. Uh, so it's something inside of you that's still calling for your attention towards this person, uh, but you're stopping yourself uh, because you don't want more of what you got there. It was probably too painful and uh, you want to take better care of yourself. And that's that's a good thing. OK, it's it's logic. And here we have the outcome. I want to look at that just now. This is their behavior and attitudes towards you. And we have the lovers here. And uh, we also have the page of swords here. And these these are the two, two masculine pages and they are both in reversed. And we can see that these people are kind of with their back towards each other. So this might be you and this might be the other person. And this is how it has been. Like two cranky children that doesn't want to solve this. And um, it might be that one of you have applied yourself a lot to the relationship before. And you just don't want to do the same thing. You try to be logic. You try to have self-control. You try to not engage yourself because it didn't get gave a good outcome. So you think yourself as a little bit crazy because of this page here. Why am I still, you know? 
uh, but it might be that this uh, other person is thinking of you a lot and therefore you are reminiscing. So it doesn't have to be that, you know, you're meant to be together forever and ever. And from their point of view, it seems like they have realized that your relationship was special and that they want to be together with you. But it doesn't have to mean that this is like from a divine point of view, this is meant to be. Uh, it can just be that this other person is constantly thinking of you and, and therefore making you reminisce about them, even though you're trying to move on. So that's a possibility. I might take a card for that, uh, like if this relationship would be actually good for you to make a, you know, um, revive the dead, <laughs> like make it another go. <clears throat> so, hmm. well, I think it's this one actually. Uh, embrace through each other you find the missing pieces <laughs> okay so sweet okay so that's one so okay so it might be that both of you actually wants this but still goes uh, you are trying to move on very hard and why you're not able to is because this one here uh, keeps reminding you don't forget about me don't forget about me don't forget about me because they still see hope with this relationship they want this to be revived um, okay, for some reason. I might take uh, an, another for there. Like, what's their whole point with doing this? What do they think they will gain? And, sorry, I'm making a mess. I have this tree here. And it's with the yin and yang symbol that I have on my tablecloth as well. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So they feel very convinced that the divine is pointing uh, you out to them and that you are the one that they are supposed to be with. Uh, and they are trying to manifest this miracle. They are trying to do kind of God's work on earth by reviving this relationship. So they're trying to grow and work on this. And it's trees here, one fiery tree and one with more apples. And this is kind of Eve, which is also the first card what, that we ta we took up with, with a little page of cups and the... Um, empress in the reversed so it's like Eve doesn't want to be in this <laughs> relationship anymore but uh, Adam uh, he he kind of wants to revive this and maybe he's thinking about you naked with all these <laughs> naked cards okay so uh, okay outcome for you and we have this uh, alchemist uh, card here so hmm um, this is the second card for love, first card for love, second card for love. Uh, this is actually the third card for love. Uh, this one, the sun card. So this is the holy matrimony, like when two whole people are joining in, in, in unity. And this is when they meet and this is when, uh, when they feel attraction because their demons play so well together. You know, I talked about your projections and your family patterns. So probably this other person is perfect for you to heal your, uh, your patterns, uh, your projections, your, your fears. Uh, this person is uh, kind of, um, you know, picking at your fear all the time, making you face the things you fear and you are doing them the same courtesy. So you scare each other kind of shitless <laughs> with this relationship. But uh, the, this is the 14, it's uh, 1 plus 4 is 5, so it's the kind of the 5 of wands when we bottle head like this and eventually we learn from each other and we become like we expand our own awareness from the limited mind we had, we expand it because now we know more, we can see it from the other person's perspective. So it seems like there's another go at this. It might be a total new person, uh, but you have had... Um, a counter in this case in a past life and this is going to be re renewed because we have new beginning here uh, but it's a new beginning here that a chance that was kind of lost so someone wants to have back lost uh, opportunities or lost chances with you uh, so I will also take from mystical wisdom a card to kind of uh, uh, advise you what to do about this situation Oh, probably that thing. Uh, <clears throat> competition. Competition. This with winning is coming up a lot with, with you Leos. And it doesn't seem like you want to win. You just want to. I don't want to play. <laughs> I don't want to play this game. <laughs> 
so you don't want to win but you want to win in one sense because you want to have self-control so you want to win over yourself and to not engage yourself in this relationship but it seems a little bit hard and um, it seems like you are supposed to embrace yourself and and kind of take a jump into this competition instead you know what i told you with them and to learn from this what can this person even if you think that they are the most horrific person in the world what can they teach you what have they been triggering with you is it uh, um you know distrust or uh, is it uh, the feeling of uh, abandonment or the feeling of not being respected or uh, have you been overwhelmed by this person did they want you to do something that you were not okay with um did did they want to force uh, their life upon you or whatever what happened you know so i will read this card for you this competition oh, i just put the book in the bottom of this box that was um a great move my body is doing things that they th it think it's very smart <laughs> but it's not always but it's like that when the mind is somewhere else the body needs to do things on their own so summon courage and self-confidence draw upon your self-belief and mental stamina it feels very much what this person is trying to do and you are trying to do it the same but by ignoring uh, the situation or having self-control so you need to maintain your position in work business sport or study except that there's a challenge ahead as you strive against others who ultimately want the same recognition as do you you may feel that you are struggling to keep your head above water as the opposition gains ground but you, you are encouraged to defend your position without compromise or negotiation. You need to find the courage, persistence, determination that will ultimately lead you to victory. I have the competitive edge to overcome my opponents. Oh, so uh, difficult because this uh, kind of um, advised you to embrace and this uh, advised you to keep your position. So I think maybe a little bit of both. Uh, always yin and yang balance uh, light and dark yes and no uh, so what i'm seeing is uh, that you are probably going to have to keep your position as long as this person can't prove that they have changed and also as long as you feel that you are not ready to work on the things that were problem for you in this relationship because you had problems too uh, that you need to work on and um, if this maybe if this is uh, you know when you have agreed about this and have some kind of compromise about this what do you need to work on what do I need to work on and you're agreeing and it's like a handshake or a pinky swear or the no <laughs> and and when you are both on board uh, so you're probably asked to not fall for this person if they just want to you know hook up with you if they just want to, um, you know, pet their little wound here and see if you still are interested in them. You are not uh, supposed to give them that ego trip. Uh, but if they have sincere, you know, sincerely, as this indicates, sincerely figuring out that you are the person that they want to be with. You can see all these angels here. So it seems like they have, you know, figured out and this is them in this angel sh shape. It's just that they are on earth now. So they are like a baby. They are not in their full authority. Um, but the divine has been asking them to do something that's important. So they must feel that your relationship is important. A and um, uh, if they don't come out as such, don't go with it. Okay. If, if they don't act like they truly care don't go back okay don't apply yourself to this situation it needs to be serious people need to take this serious in other case it's just you know it's like um, uh, it's like animal abuse <laughs> if you would go back into this relationship you know yeah i talked about my body that it was doing things on its own when i was not really present and it's kind of your body that you're tormenting by playing with fire, playing with fire with people that isn't there for you fully. So figuring out if they are there for you and if you don't believe that, keep your 
you know, keep your distance, keep your approach. Competition, summon courage and self-confidence to have stamina to withstand, you know, any kind of stupid approach that is, you know, too small, too little, too late or whatever. Okay. Uh, so, my dear Leos, I hope this helped. If you're wondering more about this situation, you can go to my webpage, check the August uh, general love and spirituality reading for uh, for your sign. You can also uh, check out the pick a card readings. I did one yesterday where actually this card came out for one of the piles. Uh, so it might have something more to tell you or show you more what this situation is about and what's on stake and what your advice to do. Uh, so my dear Leos, uh, happy birthday for you that still have your birthday upcoming. And take really good care until I see you the next uh, time. I will do the September reading in the mid-August. Um, uh, and this September reading, I'm thinking about doing it like a, a spirituality reading. Uh, and I have this uh, as a love reading. Um, but we will see. I will decide when we are closer to that date. Okay, take care and bye-bye.